All righty, y'all, this evening, I'm gonna show you how to tie my favorite catfishing rig. Now, I bank fish most of the time. Um, fall and winter is my favorite time to catfish, and um, and it's mostly just bank fishing. But uh, anyway, uh, I feel like with this rig, I get better casting distance. Now, I fish a big reservoir most of the time, and um, a lot of a lot of shallow flats um a lot of times i just really need to reach out there to get to some deeper water maybe hit a creek channel something like that and uh, this rig gives me casting distance in my opinion over say a carolina rig you got a carolina rig and you have your uh your weights up top you know and and your hooks down at the bottom and when you say you've got a uh a two foot leader on your hook when you go to cast that, you got that hook back here and a big chunk of bait catching a lot of drag as it's flying and slowing it down, in my opinion. Now, with this rig, you're going to have the opposite. You've got your weight on the bottom and your hook is tied back here. You don't have the, the long leader of the hook, you know what I'm trying to say, flopping around. It's, it's, it's neat. It's more, uh, I guess you could say, aerodynamic. But, uh, Anyway, in most of the long distance casting videos I've looked up, and I, I'd looked up some just to see if this rig would show up, and it, it did, a rig very similar to it. Maybe not tied the exact way I do it, but anyway, it's I call it a three-way rig. I think I've seen it called a dropper rig. It's got different names like most rigs do, but uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how I tie it. And, um, some things that I do to it. But uh, anyway, we're gonna start off with your hook. I use a uh, knotless knot. Now we're gonna tie this up. I use, I'm using this green line here cause I hope y'all can see it a little bit better. But um, I normally use a 50 pound test mono leader for my hook. Anyway, run this through the front of your hook. You gotta go through the front, that's important. That'll uh, help out with your hook set. And get, put enough through there, you got something to hang on to. Now you want to wrap it around that hook shaft there about seven or eight times. Okay, there we go. Y'all hear that squirrel over having a fit? <laughs> Something's got him upset. Anyway, um, once you do that, you run your line through the back, back of the eye there and we're going to cut this off some i usually make this about oh six or seven inches all right there we go we got that now this will i don't know if you can see it'll loosen up a little bit on you and, and it's fine it, it it pulls tight, back tight. It's not that big of a deal, but if you don't like that, you can uh, put your little drop of super glue on there, pull it tight, and hold it for a few seconds, and it'll stick. But uh, anyway, so we've got this. We've got our uh, leader here for our hook. And we're going to use a swivel. You can use a three-way swivel if you want, or just a uh, barrel swivel here too, just the, the regular. You can tie your uh, hook and your weight leaders to the to one and your main line to the other. But uh, we're going to tie this on. Now, I use a trilene knot. I know most people I watch use a, a Palomar knot, but I've used a trilene knot for years, and it's never given me a reason to, uh, you know, try another knot because it just hasn't. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'll show you how to tie it. Just Run your line through the eye there. It's really easy. Now you, you uh, want to go through it one more time. And you make this little loop right here. Pull that down about like that. Okay, now we're going to wrap this. With that 50 pound test leader that I normally use, I do three times. Now the lighter the line, more times you'll want to make your twist. But we'll just do it a few times here. Now you take your tag in there and run it through these uh, loops here you maintained. I don't know if y'all can see that, old fat fingers. 
There we go, run it through there, pinch a hold of that tag in. And you wanna wet this. And pull it down real tight, there you go. Try to lean not. All right, now we're gonna tie our weight on. Now I make this the weak point of the whole rig. My main line I use most of the time is a 30 pound test. And uh, like I said, my leader's 50. And for me, a 20 works out good for my weight. You don't want to go um, too light. I've tried going lighter. And when I go to make my cast, my weight will break off. So, uh, you know, the 30-pound test main line with the 20-pound test line for my weight seems to be the, seems to be the trick there. For me, anyway. All right. Now, like I said, this is the weak point, so I'm going to use an even, uh, in my opinion, a knot that's not quite as strong as a trilene knot. But uh, just uh, we're going to use a uh, improved clinch knot. I'll run it through right there. Twist it six or seven times. Now we're going to go through right here, that little loop there. Get in there. <laughs> now we've got a loop here now that we've made, so we're going to go through that. All right, now we're going to wet it. Cinch it down real good. I take my fingernail to help, like, help push it down. And I leave plenty of tag because this will slip on you a little bit right here until you get it clenched cinched down real good but uh anyway there you go going to use the same knot right here tying it to our swivel twist 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 okay going to go through that loop this is the improved clinch knot. Now we're gonna go back through, back through that loop. Wet it. Now I got chainsaws out here. Y'all hear that? <laughs> Squirrels, chainsaws. <laughs> anyway, cinch that down real good and there you go. There's your hook. I usually make this uh, leader for my weight. Oh, foot and a half, two foot long. You know, just do whatever works for you. Now, like I said earlier, I think the benefit to this is casting distance. The, uh, I guess the a negative for it would be this weight will get you hung up, you know, but like I said, you make this your weak point. And as long as you don't have any bad spots anywhere, if you do hang up in the rocks and you have a good one on there, you know, this this should break. It's worked for me. So, uh, anyway, um, oh, and one more thing. I, as far as comparing to the Carolina rig, I mean, honestly, you do do more tying doing this. Now, I've done it so long, it don't really bother me. And I usually have, honestly, I've got all this tied up when I'm uh, sitting here around the house and thinking about fishing, I, I go ahead and tie this part up. And if I break off while I'm out fishing, all I gotta do is tie this on and another weight, you know, a little pre-rig kind of deal. But uh, all right, I think that's all I got. I hope you all enjoy this video. Hope this rig helps you out. But uh, anyway, hope you all enjoy this video. If so, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button for me. Y'all wanna see more, hit subscribe. Thank y'all.